Hi, I'm Colin. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about acids and alkalis. Now, acids and alkalis can be quite common. Uh, like you can see acids in lemon juice and alkalis in the bleach you use in your homes. But sometimes it's not quite so obvious. For example, bee stings are acids and wasp stings are alkalis. Now in science it's important to know the strength of an acid and an alkali. So scientists devise their own scale. They call it the pH scale. And this is a numbered scale running from 1 to 13. 1 is the strongest acid and 13 is the strongest alkali. If you're right in the middle, say number 7, there's neither an acid nor an alkali, we say it's neutral. Now scientists normally use something called universal indicator to tell them whether something is an acid or an alkali or neutral. But here at Science Made Fun we don't believe in fancy things, so we're going to show you how to make your very own acid and alkali indicator at home. Now what you're going to need is very simple. The main ingredient is red cabbage. You can get red cabbage from your grocer, from your supermarket, you know, it's really easy to get hold of. You can just cut it up into little bits. What you also need is some boiling water. So here I've got a jug of boiling water, but you need to be very careful because obviously it's boiling water, you need to get some supervision, okay? So, we're just going to add the cabbage to the water. You see straight away that it goes, or well, it's going to go, a lovely purple colour. So you've added all the cabbage in. If you get something to stir it with as well, give it a good swish round. There we go. You see it goes a lovely purpley blue colour. Now, you need to leave this for about 20 minutes so that the dye soaks through the water. So in true Blue Peter style, I'm going to have one that I made earlier. So here's my little pot of indicator that I made earlier. And here are three test tubes filled with clear liquid. Now you shouldn't always assume that clear liquid is water. There are many clear chemicals. So what I have here is I have white vinegar, I have lime water, and I have normal water. Now, if you don't know what lime water is, you can get hold of some or you can make your own with most, most good chemistry sets. And we get ours from sciencesleuth.co.uk. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the indicator and we're going to drop a drop of, of the indicator into each one to tell what it is. With our indicator, if it's acidic, it will go a really pinky colour. If it's alkali, it will go green. And if it's neutral, then it should stay the same colour as the indicator. Okay, let's add the indicator and see what happens. Okay. The first one. Let's put a bit more in there and make sure we can see what's happening. There we go, that's very definitely green. And on the middle. That's stayed to the same colour. And the last one, see if you can guess what's going to happen. Actually, the one in the middle there, it's gone pink. So this one here on this end has gone green, so that's our alkali, so it's lime water. The one in the middle has gone a pinky red colour, so that's acidic, which means it's the white vinegar. The one on the far end hasn't really changed colour at all, so that means it's neutral, and that's the water. So if you didn't know, water is neutral. So why not get hold of some red cabbage and try those experiments for yourself? Just be careful though to get some supervision, because you've got acids and boiling water. That's all for today, so until next time, remember, science is fun.